Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Modded Minecraft. Once again, this is All The Mods version 1.10.2. And today, we are on a little bit of a rescue mission. Mr. Red is stuck. Um, basically, what happened was, me and Mr. Red, we were out in the nether, farming nether quartz, because, well, you can never have too much nether quartz, right? And basically, what happened is... I came through the portal right here um, and Mr. Red, well, he kind of maybe didn't. Um, Mr. Red is about 20,000 blocks away from us right now. Somehow, somewhere, for some reason, he got teleported back to spawn. So what we're going to do is we're going to go on a bit of a rescue mission today. Uh, we're going to sleep for him real quick because he's all scared and he's lonely. And there's all those nasty mobs. Alright. It is daytime. We have light. Piggies and bees. Piggies and bees. Don't go near those bees, Mr. Red. Because otherwise, you will have a bad time. So, what we need to do... Uh, Mr. Red's taken some screenshots for me. And I can see that some kind soul has set up a warping station. So, what that means... Today... Uh, it's been a long time coming, actually. And I've been waiting for stable power. And now we have stable power. Today, we are going to be building the RF tools, uh, matter receiver and matter transmitter. Um, first things first, we need to actually build the dialing device. That's right. It's a bit like Stargate, to be honest with you. It needs the dialing device. Um, none of these components are expensive. Um, basically, the only expensive part to this is the continuous power requirement. So first thing we're going to want is... A machine frame and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to build three of these because we need three components so three machine bases GG and then we just need six redstone two redstone torches and a machine frame and it's as easy as that we have our dialing device and I've already gone ahead and cleared a space for it over here so let's pop this puppy in there boom that's it and we'll hook the power up to that in a few moments. Don't you worry about that. And then to go with that, we need the matter, matter transmitter and matter receiver. And these are pretty much exactly what you'd imagine them to be. The matter transmitter uh, is going to allow us to get out to Mr. Red where he is at spawn. And you can see the crafting recipe for it here. It's just... Three underpearls across the top, redstone on the on the east and the west, and then iron ingots along the bottom with another one of those machine frames in the middle. So we'll build one of those real quick. There we go. And to go with that, like I said, we have the matter receiver. Now this is what Mr. Red's going to use to come back to us here. And this is pretty much identical, but the iron ingots are at the top and the enderpearls are at the bottom. So let's go and build one of those. And that's it. So we have that and we have that. Now let's put these in the floor. One there. Um, I'm going to have the transmitter on this side. And I'm going to have the... Exactly. That's exactly it, Mr. Red. Uh, think, think Star Trek. Okay, this is like the... Uh, this is like Beam Me Up, Scotty. Or the, um, or the, uh, the TV from, you know, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory where Mike TV gets broken down into pixels and pixels and then teleported and put back together in the other end. Hopefully, Mr. Red, unlike Mike TV, hopefully you won't end up in like a really small Mr. Red, mini Mr. Red. So, um, I digress. Uh, back onto what we were doing. Now, what would be really good is a... Um, there's a thing. A thing. I can't remember what it's called, but it'll basically check... Destination checker, destination analyzer. That's what we want. This is going to check to make sure that where we're beaming to has enough power to actually receive us. Because the problem is, if you teleport to a matter receiver that does not have power, uh, you will die. So obviously that would be a bad thing. So we don't want that. So let's build one of these real quick. One of those. And it's just ender pearls with the machine frame. So it's really, really cheap. Um, this is what I love about this mod. It's got all this high-tech stuff. And all of it is really cheap to make. 
So we'll pop that down there, boom. And now all these need is some power. So let's find ourselves some power. Hmm. What I might have to do is run it from the power room all the way over there. Let's see. We've got this going down here and going over there. That going over there. Which one should we use? Where does that go? Okay, so this goes down there, down there. I'm just trying to trace a few of these power lines, Mr. Red, to try and yeah, bring it there using green conduit. Exactly. I'm just trying to find a good place to feed it from. I think what I'll do is feed it from this one here. So if I go up there... Uh, <laughs> yeah. See, I, I'm usually quite good at hiding wiring. You saw my previous base on the previous server. Yeah, that was... I was pretty good at hiding wiring. Yeah. Um, right, I think uh, I'm going to start breaking into here. Let's just break in real quick. Find this green conduit. Here it is. Now this comes directly from the power room, so I think this will be good. Hmm, where does that go? There's a red cable that goes somewhere. I have no clue where that goes. Well, let's bring this... How should we bring it? I think... Hmm... Choices, choices. I have found this green energy conduit here. I'm down by the powered spawners right now, powered spawner room. And I found this green conduit. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this. And I've dug a tunnel all the way down to where I put those um, dialing devices and stuff. All the way down there. So hopefully we've got enough conduit. I've got a stack on me here. So we shall see if that's enough. Now, it does need to be the green conduit. I can't use the red one because we're going to use a lot of power. And also, I want to use this power for when we create our own dimensions. Um, and some of those uh, dimensions can... Uh, some of them can use a hell of a lot of power. Um, when we get into some of the higher end ones, some of them will use basically 400,000 RF per tick. Um, now, we're nowhere near that yet, but um, maybe sometime we will be. Who knows? So let's just lay a whole bunch of this all the way down here really quickly. Boom, boom, boom. You wouldn't believe the nightmare I had trying to find this bloody, um, where I'd put the uh, doodars. You see all this cobble? Yeah, that's me digging tunnels trying to find it. Ha. Huh. So, uh, let's keep going with this. 23 left, 23, I reckon we're just gonna, just about going to do it. Well, let's keep plopping this down. Um, one thing I should probably do, actually, which I haven't done, is I should put some torches down. Because, you see, if I turn my night vision off, it's pretty freaking dark down there. So let me quickly do that real quick. Let's pop one there. Actually, what am I talking about? Of course they're not going to spawn. They've only got one block to spawn in. Put one there, put one there. Let's just spam a few torches real quick. There we go. What are you talking about? I don't have OCD. I don't have OCD. Right, nearly there, nearly there. Where are we? Nearly there, good. I heard somebody in the comments say, AJ, you've got torch OCD. I'm like, no, I don't. I do not have OCD with torches. Exactly. Conduit. How much more conduit have we got? Three. I think... Uh, we don't have enough. We don't have enough. Isn't that always the way? That is always the way, isn't it? You never have enough of that flipping conduit. Only you can prevent forest fires, Mr. Red. Alright, let's dig my way out of here. Um, tell you what we'll do. Hopefully, we have the necessary ingredients in our thingy to make stuff. Let's have a look. Conduit. There it is, the green one. Let me shift click that. Yes, we do. We have enough to make eight. Probably more, but that will do us. Eight will do us just fine. Let's come down here and put in... Who put that torch there? Get rid of that torch. One there, one there, one there, and one there. And then because I don't have OCD, I'm going to set all of these to their right settings. Because if I don't, that'll bug me. 
So we need to set them all to insert. Set them all to insert. There we go. And now they should be powered. Yes, they are. Good. They are all getting powered. Now that has power. That has power. And that has power. Um, now if I dial spawn. Why won't that dial? Aha, I need to select that, then I select that, then I select dial. Dial is okay. Um, can I throw... Let me turn. What I want to do is I don't want to go straight through um, because I'm scared. So I'm going to see if I can throw a piece of cobble through. Ah, that's funny. For a matter transmitter I thought that would work I guess not um, well let's just uh, let's just go for it shall we here we go here we go oh achievement got ta-da hello mr. red hello yay oh my god it worked I can't believe it it's amazing how you doing buddy it's been a while oh geez this is one hell of a glitch should we, uh, should we head back? Where, oh, show me where this head is. Where's, where did Data die? I want to see this. Is it over here? Oh, I can't see it. Oh, wait, now I see it. Here it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ha, <laughs> Yeah, tweet that. Screenshot. Screenshot and tweet. There we go. That, by the way, guys, is Mr. I Don't Die Day Plus 822. Do you know what I'm going to do? Let's, uh, let's... Can I, can I steal it? Can I steal it? Oh, I can't steal it. I was going to steal his stuff. Sad face. Okay, Mr. Red. What we need to do now is... We open up the dialing device, okay, and the top one says spawn warp out. And so we need to select where we are, first of all. Um, and then in the bottom, you'll see the destination. So obviously we've got data space, spawn, and the scrub squad. Now that's us. So if we simply click on that, press dial once, it will dial. And all you have to do now is walk through that green beam. and that will teleport you to our base. Excellent. And what we can do is if we dial it once, you saw it happen then, so Mr. Red went through it and now it's not dialed anymore. So that means that basically um, we're not leaving a connection open, which is, which is what we want to do. So if I do that again real quick, dial once, go in. Oh, really? Not enough power to start the teleport. Um, can you... Actually, I can sleep. So it looks like this um, little spawny setup here, this teleporter at spawn, is only good for one teleport. And then we have to wait for it to charge up. Oh, wow, that was quick. Well, it's already charged, so let's go. Oh, really? Not enough power to... Oh. Well, that's no good. Where's that power connected to? That has power. Oh, uh, I think I've got to fix this. Hold on. Oh, scrubs are us. It turns out we're not scrubs, by the way, Mr. Red, because uh, whoever set this up didn't power the um, the transmitter and the, re the receiver. So, oh, wait, they did, but it's not working. Why is it not working? Hmm. RF. Yeah, I'm just checking that. Hmm. This is odd. Well, I need to fix this before I can go home. So uh, I will mess around with this, find out what's up, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, I have fixed it. 
I've gone ahead and fixed it. What I had to do was, um, for some reason, this mechanism advanced universal cable wasn't powering the transmitter and it wasn't powering the receiver either. So it's almost a wonder we didn't die when we came through. We were very lucky that time. But what I've gone ahead and done is I've jerry rigged um, some energy conduit here just up and around the top and down to these two so that they are now fully charged. So we can now go ahead and step back through. Dial once. There we go. Let's go on through. Thank you very much, Mr. Red. Here goes. And we are back. Excellent. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's good to be home. I tell you, that was some crazy stuff. I have no idea how that happened, Mr. Red, but uh, it's good to have you back. I missed you too, buddy. I missed you too. Ah, oh, dear. So, and one thing I have gone ahead and done in the meantime I did have to test it so I have already been back once and I've changed things around a little bit you might be able to tell um, well, what I've gone ahead and done is let me just go ahead and show you because this is quite interesting so if you remember I had the uh, the destination analyzer well I had to move that because it wasn't in the right place if you remember it was here and that was there and that was there so what I've done is I put the dialing device here I've got a matter booster here and underneath here I have the destination analyzer because what you need to do is oh, don't step in that Mr. Red um, what you need to do is you need to have the destination analyzer touching the matter transmitter so that what it will do is if there's a problem with the destination it will change the color of this beam to red meaning if this beam is ever red do not step through because you will die you will die um, and also, uh, it's touching the dialing device as well. Exactly. Red beam, red shirt. So the it's touching the dialing device. And this means that when I'm dialing, um, so if I highlight these two and I say dial once, I can check it here. And I can see that this says green, dial OK. So that means I can step through. If there was a problem, it would say red, um, not enough power. So... Basically, the, the key thing is here, you do not want to step through if there is not enough power. But, that said, what we also have here is a matter booster. Now, this matter booster needs to be touching the transmitter. And what this will do is, if the other end doesn't have power, say, for example, the, um, the receiver at spawn uh, doesn't have power for some reason, the solar generators are broken, we can use our power to power up the destination. Uh, and that's basically what that will do. It will use more power and we'll end up with, we'll take some damage when we go through, but we won't die. So that's a good thing to have. Then that is actually really cheap. Let me just show you that real quick. So that's a destination analyzer in the middle. You saw we built one of those earlier, remember? It's just those ender pearls with the machine frame. And then you take that and you surround it with redstone blocks and that gives you the matter booster. Oh yeah, good idea, because I think actually it uses power to maintain the connection. Um, so we don't want to have that connected all the time. And I can put this stone brick back now. Yeah, good point. So actually what we can do is we can head, we can reinstate some of Mr. Red's um, gorgeous decoration here by putting some of these back. Here we go all the heads we like head oh actually i don't think we can have those there because they'll interfere yeah that's probably a good idea because king willie's going to come on here and he's going to be like what the hell's this how does this all work flipping crikey struth and then he'll be all confused so yeah some signs will be good i'll take those out because i think they might interfere beam up beam down yeah good so um i wasn't planning on building this right now but um well, circumstances meant we had to build it, and we've got it now, so I think, yeah, call it Scotty. I think in a future episode, um, I'm going to explore making some dimensions, because that was quite cool in Feed the Beast, making your own dimensions, going through, finding the ores, finding the books, yeah. And so, uh, that, guys, I think is an episode for today. I can't wait either, Mr. Red, it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun, yeah. 
don't forget to subscribe for more Minecraft content. Um, I do like to specialize in technical Minecraft, so if you are looking to um, move into applied energistics or you want to explore RF tools, then check out some of my videos. I'm going to be helping you out with those. And uh, until next time, guys, uh, this is AJ signing off. So say goodbye, Mr. Red. <laughs> See you, buddy. Bye.